Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again, and uh, yeah, I wanted to discuss this, uh, you know, I'm probably a little late to the party with this one because I've seen other people show it. Came out a couple weeks ago, um, I was kind of holding off on it because of price and everything, but I finally picked up the new Kiss Off the Soundboard. Nice thing about this, it's live in Virginia Beach, July 25th, 2004. Now, I was at this show here in Virginia Beach. The um, now, but so let's talk about that before I look at the actual product. This was one of the shows during the 2004 Rock the Nation tour, where at the end of every show you could go stand in a really long line and get the actual show burned right to CD, and they did that. So it was called Instant Live, and they did that. It's a two CD set. I'm glad to see that all the tracks that were on the CD made it to the vinyl record. It is a three record set. The um, I forget exactly how it worked. I think you paid for it ahead of time, and then they gave you a ticket, whatever. I, all I know is when the show was done, you had to go stand on a long line. They had this, all these duplicators and all these people, and you were there for like an hour waiting in line as they were just burning these as fast as they could. And, uh, yeah, and so I've had this since that time, since the night. It was great, and so it was great to have it come out now on the triple record set, similar to... The one that came out, what, I don't know, months ago, last year, Tokyo 2001. Now, you know, I don't know what where the series is going, but it's kind of neat. A couple questions I had about this was, if you go on Discogs and look at all of these different live nation, uh, instant live things that came out, a lot, you know, obviously almost every show on tour was released like that. So I'm just kind of curious, why Virginia Beach? Not that I'm complaining, just curious, out of all the ones they had, why Virginia Beach? Now, I will say, I've listened to this. It sounds great. It doesn't sound like they've necessarily, you know, it sounds like this. It's just raw there. You can tell it's live. I don't I don't perceive any wizardry in the studio, you know, with the whole live album situations of days of old. It sounds like it was transferred right over. I mean, I might be missing something. I didn't listen re listen really closely, but it j it sounded raw, like it, you know, like the live experience. It was there, you know. There was division between the sound. It, you know, it was, it it sounded like I, you know, a, a straight up live album. Now, plain Jane wrapping as usual, typical cardboard box, cardboard sleeves. You know, you may be familiar with all these if you've seen previous. The previous box set and our previous uh, videos of people doing this. Got the little hype sticker. The second in the boot, live bootleg series. Second in the bootleg series. Three grams of records featuring. Anyway, the only difference with this one is so whereas the 2001 Tokyo one had Paul Jean, Eric Singer, and Ace Fairley, this one is the current lineup with Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer. The other thing about these is. So inside the cardboard sleeve is the inner sleeve, and in this case around, they are poly-lined, whereas last time they were just white paper. So that, they did step it up. They're just traditional black, white label. So no frills, you know. Yeah, I mean, we've gone through a history of, of having fancy stuff for Kiss. I don't know if this is just a way to quickly throw out inexpensive versions. It would have been nice had they put in something, a little poster or something, I mean, a picture or something, but... It is what it is. It's just cardboard. Just throw it out there. Now, price range though, you're not seeing that much of a cut in the price range. Retail for this is sixty bucks, fifty nine dollars, twenty bucks an album. So, pretty standard pricing. I saw this at my local store last weekend, and they wanted sixty nine for it. That, come on, everywhere online, even Amazon was fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty. It's all standard. Um. But I have seen some local stores that have bumped it up some. The uh, I waited on it because I knew eventually, you know, Amazon's going to eventually drop it a little bit. Because even the Tokyo one from last year, I think it's down to like $40, $42. Well, anyway, so I noticed last week or so, maybe I've had it a little more than a week, that the Virginia Beach one dropped down to 49 Yeah, 49 So... I thought ten dollars off. Let's jump on that, and I went ahead and grabbed that. So, anyway, it's uh, it's good stuff. It's it's nice to have the concert I've already had for years now on the uh, vinyl record rendition of it, and it sounds good. It sounds good. It sounds like you know 
top of the game for the guys at the time and you know just like i would have experienced it so anyway if you haven't checked it out check it out the price is dropping a little so it might be a good time to grab one and uh you know add it to your collection i'm probably going to keep going with these collections i don't there are color variants but I've, I've been sticking with black just because that's more readily available and all that amazon had that was cheaper so i'll be back though thanks a lot for watching rock on and rock hard